How to graph y equals x squared minus 1 using a table of values. We're going to use three techniques and three steps. So step one, we're going to have three columns. We'll have x, y equals x squared minus 1, and x comma y is your point. What we're going to do is substitute the x values, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, into the equation to obtain y outputs, and then record the x, y coordinates. So let's start. If x is negative 2, we have negative 2 squared minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3, and therefore the x, y point is negative 2 comma 3. If x is negative 1, y equals negative 1 all squared minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, and therefore the point is negative 1 comma 0. If we put x equals 0 into the equation, we get y equals 0 squared minus 1. 0 minus 1 is negative 1, and the output um, x, y output is 0 comma negative 1. If x is 1, we have y equals 1 squared minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, and the point is 1 comma 0. And lastly, if x is 2, uh, y equals 2 squared minus 1, 4 minus 1 is 3, and therefore the point is 2 comma 3. That's step one. Step two, we're going to plot the five key critical points on our xy Cartesian plane. So let's start. To plot negative 2 comma 3, we start at the origin, go two units across to the left, and we'll go three units up. Plot your point. For negative 1 comma 0, again start at the origin, one to the left, and we stop there. To plot 0 comma negative 1, we start at the origin, go down one unit, and plot your point. To plot 1 comma 0, start at the origin, go one across to the right, and then plot your point. And lastly, 2 comma 3, we go two units to the right and three units up, and we plot our point. That's step two. The third step in the final step is as follows. You draw a straight, sorry, you draw a nice smooth curve that joins all of these five key critical points. And if you do it correctly, it should look something like this. So this is how you graph y equals x squared minus one using a table of values.